Hello YouTube. Today I have an epic light. Zebra light continues to impress me. This is the uh, Zebra light SC600 Mark II L2. And this flashlight is only four inches in total length. All right, we're going to roll in some demonstration footage. But yeah, this thing is bright. All right, let's roll in that demonstration footage and then we'll come back and talk about uh, the battery and the interface. Okay, YouTube, now for the sake of comparison, I have here a 400 lumen light and I'm shining it right at the throwing stand. And I want you to see the difference between this 400 lumen light and the zebra light. All right, now let's uh, shine the zebra light. And here is the zebra light pointed at that same target. Right, you see the difference in brightness there. Very bright. Okay, once again, here is what 400 lumens looks like. Okay, and now once again, the zebra light. So you see that difference there. The greater brightness of the zebra light, and see how far it reaches. Right, the critters are still there. Right, and you can see them. With this zebra light, you can even see over there. And this is the 400 lumen light again. And as you can see, the 400 lumen light does not reach as far as brightly. You can still see them, but there, uh, you can't see them as well. Okay, and let me show you the different brightness levels. This is the, uh, the lowest level, right? This is the low setting, right there. All right, and now let me cycle through low, medium, high, low, medium, high. So those are the three main brightness settings. And finally, let's do a strobe. All right, strobe warning. And this is the strobe effect. Yes, quite disorienting. Wow, <laughs> that was nuts. A furry bandit has been detected raiding the shrubbery. This time with my zebra light. Yes, look. Look at that deer enjoying a meal. And I'm way back here. I'm way back here. And without the light, you cannot, you can't see. This is without the light. Focus. And there's the furry bandit. <laughs> Pretty cool. And this deer doesn't even care. It doesn't even care it's on camera. It's just eating away. There are some friends around here too. There's another one way over there. And I'm way back here. I'm way back here. Getting some good range on this light. Yeah, you see that. Yeah, we got bandits. And we got bandits. Hey. <laughs> hey, critter. Gonna make you a star on YouTube. Okay, we are back, and the light I was comparing it to uh, was this light, a great light in its own right. This is the Lenser F1. Pretty awesome light. You can check out my review of that. Alright, but yeah, this thing was super bright. This thing is very impressive for its size. That's one thing Zebra Light seems to be great at, making lights that are compact. All right, check out my previous review of this Zebra Light. Look how compact these Zebra Lights are. Now this uses an 18650. Uh, now just for size comparison, often a light that gives you around a thousand lumens and uses an 18650 battery is often this size. You know, I mean, look at the difference. Now, this is still a good light because, well, first of all, it, it's actually this length on purpose because you see the impact bezel. You know, it gives you some reach if it if it came to that. But if you're going for compact power. Look at the zebra light. I mean, that's that's amazing. These use the same battery and around a thousand lumens. Now, how to operate this light? 
Well, if you press this button and hold it for like more than a second, you'll get to the low mode. All right, this is the uh, lowest mode. If you press this and release, you get to the highest mode. And if you press it twice quickly, you get to the medium mode. All right, so you see that? And in any of those modes, if you hold the button down, it will cycle through low, medium, high. So, low, medium, high, low, medium, high. If you click this button three times, it will go to the special modes, the first of which is strobe. You see that? Now, if you double click from there, it'll go to uh, a slow flashing beacon mode, right, where I think every five seconds it'll flash on low. Double click again and it'll be a slow flashing uh, beacon mode but it'll be brighter. All right, and double click again and you see it'll be a fast blinking mode. Okay so those are the four special modes and cycled back to strobe. If you click the button four times, this will flash to indicate how much charge is left in the battery, with four flashes indicating almost fully charged and one flash indicating, uh, you know, almost needing recharge. Okay, so let's see how much charge is left. One, two, three, four. So this battery is still at almost full charge. All right, because this is actually a very high quality battery. To install or replace the battery, just unscrew this. And the battery that I'm running currently, it is an Olight. It is an Olight. Okay, and as you can see, 18650 rechargeable lithium ion battery. And you can see, I mean, the light's almost just as uh, a little bigger than the battery. You know, it's like a battery housing, and then they need a, a little bit for the reflector. But yeah, you can see what they did there. Now, are there any drawbacks to making this uh, that compact? Well, sure, yes, because, you know, because the head portion, right, it can, cannot be as long as on a longer light. Obviously, the reflector, uh, the depth of the reflector, the size of the reflector, is limited all right so this will be more floody meaning a short shorter range wall of light rather than like a tightly focused cone that's going to project uh, across a football field now a little more about this interface one great thing about this it has three levels of brightness low medium high it's pretty simple but if you want to it actually really has six different levels, but they're kind of hidden. Basically for any of the, the low, medium, or high, there's like a hidden level. For example, this is, this is high, right? But if I double click while it's on high, it'll actually go to a sub level, which is in between high and medium, right? Likewise, uh, this is medium. But if I double click while I'm in medium, it'll go to an intermediate level between medium and low, right? And even, even low, if I double click the low setting, it'll go to even lower, like a super low. All right, you see that? And so each main level has like a hidden sub-level. It's a way to keep it simple with just three levels. But to also give you six levels if you want if you want it to. Basically the interface kicks ass because it's really easy to get to the low mode for reading. It's one click to get to the highest level for an emergency if you need a lot of light. And three clicks will give you strobe, which is the other thing you might want in an emergency. Just almost a perfect platform for exploiting that type of battery for easy to carry, 
you know, EDC or emergency light. So definitely highly recommended. I'm really impressed with Zebra Light. All right, hope you enjoyed the review. I'm out.